Good morning, everyone. We are Steady Energy. We are here to reply for a call for action. We all know that climate change is uh, threatening human life and uh, planetary health. Our challenge is actually to reduce the CO2 emissions as fast as we can. The current act activities uh, is reaching us not, very, not even close to our target curve. Our target is to reach the CO2 emissions as fast that, as we can and, and so that we can limit the climate warming to 1.5 degrees. Before I tell how we do it, let's look at where the CO2 is coming from. So there are different end use sectors, industry, electricity. We are concentrating only on heat. Inter interestingly, if we just look at what is needed to heat up homes, offices, and sweep, speaking of heat under 150 degrees Celsius, there is a 10% CO2 reduction potential on this challenge. And this is where we, <clears throat> we are matching, matching the so, uh, challenge with the solution. We do it with nu nuclear energy. Uh, and in fact, the simplest and the most economical way to use nuclear energy is to use it exactly there to produce low heat, low temperature heat, which then can lead up to 10% reduction potential in the CO2. And it has to be done fast. What we are doing here, we use the existing infrastructure. And we are speaking of district heating as a first low-hanging fruit. Uh, district heating is, is used in space and, uh, and water uh, heating in buildings and in industrial processes. And district heating is an energy carrier. Globally, there is 1.5 gigaton of uh, reduction potential. And this amounts as much as twice the emissions of Germany today. It might not sound very large. Anyway, there is no silver bullet here. So we are proposing this. How does a typical heating network look like? There are consumers, industry services, residential. There are networks. And then we have the heat producing units. Our aim to replace these heat producing un units, as we know in Europe, almost all of them are fossil burning. It's more than 70 percent of, the, of them are burning fossil. So this is how typical network of district heating looks like, case, case of Helsinki. There's a pipe network distributing this heat to homes. And then the black spots, they are the producing units. And this is what we can replace. If you look at the market in Europe level, in selected countries, we see that there are more than 200 cities who could uh, be served with the solution. We have a delivery potential of 300 uh, reactor units, which is leading to up to 30 billion euro uh, revenue, only in this sector. And this is the news today. <clears throat> we have already signed a letter of intent with Helsinki Energy Company going uh, together with us in the pre-investment phase to make this viable. And today we announced there is another company as well, Kuopion Energia from Finland, joining the uh, consortium. All in all, we have now a potential of 50 reactors to be delivered only in, here in Finland, which leads to us already a sales pipeline further of 1 billion euros. Uh, we founded the company this summer. Uh, we are spin-off from VTT, Technical Research Center of Finland, where this innovation has been developed over four years. I was leading the nuclear research area uh, there before joining. We have two million euro seed funds from YesVC and Lifeline Ventures at the moment. And we have also five million euros, euros worth of project agreement together with VTT, where we develop the concept further. And there are 60 persons working at VTT for us. Uh, in our organization, we have now uh, eight persons we are bringing together more than 150 years of experience from, uh, from this nuclear industry area. Our offering in technical terms is actually two, two ways. It's uh, that we deliver the heating plants 
which are scalable by these modular units, as you see here, five of them. And also we deliver services on top of these power plants. We are capturing the markets where uh, typical customers are not acquainted with nuclear energy. So we will also bring together the needed services for nuclear fuel operation and waste management. This is how our competing, also climate friendly, energy producing units look like. This is a biomass heating plant. Our plant will look like this. It's invisible. There's no chimney, there's no stack of biomass, no trucks, ships. In fact, we are locating our power plant underground. And in technology manner, we are producing the heating plants with 50 megawatt reactor units. 50 megawatts is actually 100 times smaller than those reactors that are now run in, for example, Olkiluoto, Finland, the large en en electricity producing heating uh, power plants. There's a two to three year refueling cycle on this, and the reactor hall is built as strong as a Swiss defense shelter, and it's intri intrinsically safe. So we are here, really we are on a mission to redefine the energy landscape and uh, drive the nuclear industry forward. How do we succeed? We simplify everything. We go into the core of the basics. We find innovation there. We harness the efficiency of manufacturing industry with uh, known technology. And we are scaling in the business manner. We capture new markets like the heating and we are building it different locations. So we are approaching nuclear to those sectors where the technology is best matched. So our plants really, they can be located under cities. For client, we offer scalable, simple modular solution. Our efficiency is 100% compared to any electricity products where you lose 60% of energy. So it's really economical and it's cost competitive. By 2030, we have the first plant in operation commercially with our first client. There is already a plant steps ahead and uh, this target we can keep. So we are responding to call for action as, far as I explained in the beginning. We ask also you now to join the journey for carbon future and join steady. Thank you.